My name is Nathan Smith. I was born December the 15th, 1923, in Irondale, Alabama. Uh, one Sunday afternoon, uh, I heard on the radio that America had been attacked by the Japanese in a place called Pearl Harbor, and I don't know of anyone that even knew where Pearl Harbor was, and I certainly didn't know where Pearl Harbor was. But I knew that that was going to, I felt like that would change my life for a long time, <laughs> that our country was at war. And as soon as we pulled in the gate of the, of the uh, training uh, for, for boot camp, the guys that had already graduated from, from boot camp were all hollering, you'll be sorry. So uh, I was scared to death the first time I'd ever been away from home. I uh, knew that I didn't have my mama to cry on her shoulder anymore. <laughs> I can remember praying to God, although I had never invited the Lord into my life at that time. I had had some training in Christianity. One of the things I remember about my mother is that she loved the Lord so very much. She read her Bible every day and she listened to radio programs preaching all day long while she was doing her housework. And one day she got her a ladder and climbed up on that ladder and printed in big bold letters on the front of our house, Jesus is the light of the world. We made the landings on Saipan on June the 15th, 1944. On June the 6th was D-Day in Europe. As we were getting close to the beaches on Saipan, shells started landing around us. There was a large pier on Saipan, and uh, the Marine Corps had decided that they wouldn't blow up that pier, that, they, that we would unload all of our supplies on the pier including our water. After we got all our supplies loaded on the pier, the Japanese blew it up with their artillery, and we went without water for three days. <laughs> My pack got blown up. I realized immediately I didn't have a toothbrush anymore. So I think after about 20 days in combat with no toothbrush, I finally got nerve enough to ask somebody if he would lend me his toothbrush so I could brush my teeth, and he did. God took care of me while I was in combat. I was given the Silver Star Medal, which is the third highest combat award. I knew my mother prayed for me always. I don't remember exactly how many. I know we lost a lot of men on Saipan. I, I can remember thinking, what a horrible thing war is. I can think about how blessed the United States has been and that we haven't had a war in our country since the Civil War. How God has blessed our nation and I pray that our people will not turn away from serving God and this will always be known as a godly nation. Okay, we made the landings on Iwo Jima on February the 19th. 1945, so many people lost both legs and arms, getting blown up with landmines. I see that as, uh, I don't know how I got through all that other than God doing it. Uh, I started off running and I, I, I ran about 30 yards and I got so tired running in that heavy ashes and sand that I started walking. As soon as I got started walking, a Japanese shot my left leg in two, completely in two. The bullet went through both bones, and my, uh, it was just above my ankle where the bullet hit me, and the shock of it is unbelievable. I can't describe it. I've, I've read about correspondents who have described being shot, but I can't describe the shock of being shot. I knew that everybody I'd ever seen get shot and knocked them down. And uh, God didn't let me fall. My mother told me that God had showed her that I was going to be killed on Iwo Jima. And she asked him to let me get shot in the arm or leg and let me come home. 